Hey Sheep Dogs, Doc here. Really excited to tell you about a new product we're going to have available on the Sheep Dog store. I'm the one specifically talking about it because it is a medical product. This is not an instructional video. We might look at doing one of those in the future. This is just a video to introduce you to the product and tell you why we're selling it and why I wholeheartedly endorse it. So this is what we're going to, I'm going to be talking about today. This is the brand new Sheep Dog T3 bandage. We are bringing this to you in conjunction with our partners at Persis Medical. As you know, I'm also medical director for them. We work to them, with them to try to come up with a product that we wanted to bring to you and that I thought best fit uh, our philosophy and what we teach at Sheepdog Response, specifically what I teach in the Spectrum of Tactical Emergency Care course. And this is what we decided would be the best product. So this is it. This is the exclusive Sheepdog T3 bandage. Um, we'll put a graphic up next to the video, but in case you can see it, it's got the Sheepdog Response logo right there on the bandage. And uh, we are going to be selling this effective immediately at the Sheepdog store. So let me show you some of the features of this. This uh, has all the features of the classic Persis Israeli pressure bandage that we've all come to know and love and trust. It has the, the pr patented pressure bar, the patented uh, closure bar. So all of the normal features of the Persis Israeli bandage are there. So this is battle proven. It's been proven in the global war on terror overseas in combat, as well as in many CONUS locations as well. We know that this design works. What's special about the T3 is essentially if you're carrying the T3 and a tourniquet, that's an entire IFAC. That's an entire individual first aid kit because this is not only is it two bandages in one, but it also is packing gauze combined with that. And I'm going to show you that right now. So when you open up the bandage, there's a pocket on the end. This pocket is filled with packing gauze. So this is non impregnated packing gauze. This is not quick clot or one of the other types of gauze, but as we know, between 50 and 80 percent of the advantage of packing a wound is mechanical, not chemical. So you can pack a wound with the gauze right here in the bandage. A couple other things that this addresses, an, uh, a question that we've been getting when it comes to individual first aid forever is, what if I'm putting a bandage on myself? There's no good way to do it. This was even harder with the old style bandage where you're talking about tie and tails, but even with the Israeli bandage, this could prove difficult to, to wrap it on your own arm. Well, they've eliminated that. So that same channel right here where the packing gauze was, this is a loop. If I'm applying this to my own, own arm or leg, I can now do it one-handed. And again, this isn't a how-to video, so I'm not going to go all the way through it. Another question that we've always gotten when it comes to bandages is, well, what, what about an entrance wound and an exit wound? Do I just dress one side? pack some gauze or you know, put something else on the other side and hope for the best? Do I grab a whole nother dressing? When we're talking about limited resources, this can be a problem. We're talking about weight and cube. Well, the T3 has eliminated that question and that problem because it's two dressings in one. Entrance wound, exit wound, right here in the same bandage. Put this on as you're doing so, put this on the exit wound. So again, I can pack a wound requiring gauze with this gauze and I can also address an entrance wound and an exit wound and this is a pressure dressing once applied. In fact, the Israeli bandage, the Persis Israeli bandage is the only bandage that is authorized to be a non-pneumatic tourniquet in and of itself and I'll, I'll show you why. Bear with me for a second here. This is completely unrehearsed in case you can't tell. So the patented closure bar device can be used as a windlass. So, and again, at some point we'll do an instructional video where I show you exactly how to do that, but it's fairly intuitive. Basically, when you get to the closure point, you run this under the bandage and you turn it as you would any windlass and clip it down in place. So again, go to sheepdogresponse.com, go to the Sheepdog store. Right now, this is the bandage you need to be carrying on your person every day, everybody. Again, this bandage and a tourniquet, you got those two things, you essentially have an IFAC right there. If I could only issue one bandage to people, I, if I was standing on the ramp of an aircraft handing out bandages, or I was handing these to patrolmen going out every day, this is the bandage that I would be handling to them, ha handing to them. I believe in it. That's why we're selling it. Go buy it right now. And until next time, be a sheepdog.